Thomas Alive Today presents Mervins. Mervin G. Morris founded the first Mervin's department store in San Lorenzo, California on July 29, 1949. The store was supposed to be named Mervin's but a designer suggested that a spelling with a Y instead of an I would be more visually appealing. Mervin's was located in the midst of San Lorenzo Village a planned residential community between the cities of Hayward and San Leandro composed of two and three bedroom tract homes built between 1944 and the 1950s. Mervin's carved a niche for itself by having a relatively no-frills shopping environment that reduced overhead enabling the store to price merchandise lower than competing department stores. Mervin's also offered significantly discounted factory seconds of basics such as jeans t-shirts underwear and similar garments as well as household linens with flaws minor and undetectable by most. During the 1950s and 1960s this made Mervin's popular with the young suburban families comprising the majority of San Lorenzo's population. This marketing strategy was later abandoned before Mervin's expanded beyond its original single location but Mervin's remained popular as a lower priced alternative to national department store chains. The second Mervin's store opened about 15 miles south as an anchor tenant of the Fremont Hub Shopping Center one of two regional malls in Fremont, California in 1962. In mid-1975 Mervins operated stores in major cities and towns throughout California. By October 1975 it had expanded to Southern California opening stores in Fullerton and Huntington Beach. The location in Millbrae was particularly popular among San Francisco Peninsula customers searching for deals on off-season discount items at a discount price. By 1978 the company had grown to a chain of more than 50 stores in three states and Mervins was acquired by the Dayton Hudson Corporation which is known today as Target Corporation. Mervins kept its separate identity as a Dayton Hudson subsidiary. The average store had 80 to 130 employees. There was a store team leader executive team leaders department leaders benefited team members and part-time employees. All employees had credit goals which referred to the number of customers that opened a Mervin's credit account. Part-time employees were expected one per every eight hours worked and the leadership team was expected one per every 40 hours worked. Mervin's entered Florida in 1988 with a store in Lakeland. Mervin's began major expansions outside of California with Atlanta being the site of a particularly strong expansion campaign followed by Miami in 1991. Mervins which had not previously had a retail presence in the southern US competed for mall space with JCPenney which later received top anchor spots at the Town Center Mall in Kennesaw Shannon Mall in Union City and Gwinnett Place Mall in Duluth. Stores that were unaffected were those at North DeKalb Mall in Decatur that was taken over by Uptons and North Point Mall in Alpharetta which became Parisian and was rebuilt as AMC Theatres. This was also likewise done at the same time in Florida where the company sold 10 stores to Dillard's which opened at Cutler Ridge Mall in Cutler Ridge Miami International Mall in Doral Coral Square in Coral Springs Boynton Beach Mall in Boynton Beach Broward Mall in Plantation Pembroke Lakes. Mall in Pembroke Pines Melbourne Square in Melbourne and Lakeland Square Mall in Lakeland the latter three locations became double headers for Dillard's. The locations at Treasure Coast Square in Jensen Beach and Pompano Fashion Square in Pompano Beach did not become Dillard's when being sold to the Little Rock retailer while some stores that weren't included in the deal were sold to other retailers such as a larger Saks Fifth Avenue taking over an empty store at Town Center Mall in Boca Raton where Dillard's wanted to open a new store there since its closure in 1995. Mervins had withdrawn from both Miami and Atlanta in 1997. During the 1990s Mervins also expanded into Arizona, Colorado, Texas, Michigan, Minnesota and Washington State. From 1995 to 2001 the stores were rebranded as Mervins California in an effort to identify with its West Coast roots. A media campaign was launched to publicize the rebranding with TV commercials and catalogs featuring former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Joe Montana. The rebranding had little effect on the company's revenues and the California was dropped from the name in 2001 reverting to the original name. The majority of their stores in Texas didn't even consider adding the California name to their stores. 
In March 2004 Target Corporation announced that they planned to put the Mervins and Marshall Fields divisions up for sale to focus on Target stores. Target Corporation was approached by many buyers for both stores but many of the potential buyers saw value only in the real estate. Target refused to sell to the groups that wanted to purchase Mervins for the property value only. Target would only consider deals that would not close the company and put the then 30,000 employees out of work. The Mervins locations in Minnesota were closed in 2004 as part of the deal between Target Corporation selling their Marshall Fields division to the May Department Stores Company in June 2004. May purchased nine Twin Cities area Mervins locations along with the Marshall Fields stores and immediately announced closure of those Mervins stores. Analysts saw this as a move by the May company to block competition from acquiring those locations. In July 2004 Target Corporation announced that Mervins had been sold to a group of investors that included private investment firm and turnaround specialist Sun Capital Partners Cerberus Capital Management and real estate investment company Lubert Adler Management Inc. Rick Leto was named the new president and chief merchandising officer in January 2005. 62 store closures were announced by the new owners in September 2005 stating the 62 stores closed only accounted for 17% of the chain's sales. The closures were 28 of the 40 stores in Texas, 15 stores in Michigan, 10 stores in Colorado, 3 stores in Oklahoma, 3 stores in Louisiana, and 1 store closing in each state of Utah, Oregon and California. Mervins had an enviable real estate portfolio and it was believed they could further invest in those properties and make themselves more competitive. In 2007 an additional 18 stores were closed, of the stores closed 17 were in Oregon and Washington and one in Grand Junction, Colorado which was the last remaining Mervyn's store in that state. Signs of financial distress and possible bankruptcy surfaced on July 21, 2008 when the Associated Press reported that Mervyn's had stopped updating its financial status and that the department store's vendors ceased shipping some products hurting the store's back-to-school season sales efforts. In addition financing requests were denied by lenders. This raised the possibility of the company having to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy or going out of business altogether. The company made no official comments at the time but on July 29, 2008 Mervins announced that it had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Northern District of California. Soon the Chapter 11 case was converted to Chapter 7 liquidation on October 17, 2008. At the time of this announcement three stores had just held grand openings only a few months prior to being told they would soon close. Although the company initially vowed to keep all locations open during the reorganization efforts the company announced in August 2008 the closure of all 26 underperforming stores. The company hired an outside company to assist in the liquidation of assets from the stores affected. The closures also marked a complete retreat by Mervins from the Idaho market whose sole store in Boise was one of the ones marked for closure. In Texas a complete retreat was slated from San Antonio where all three remaining stores were marked for closure in addition to the closure of the sole stores in Lubbock Midland and Odessa. After these closures Mervins was left with about 150 stores 16 in Arizona 121 in California 3 each in Nevada and New Mexico 7 in Texas and 6 in Utah. In September 2008 Mervins sued the private equity firms involved in the leveraged buyout of the chain alleging that the deal had stripped the retailer of its real estate assets forcing it into bankruptcy. Mervins said in the suit that Cerberus Capital Management and its partners had used the increased rent to finance the buyout. Although the company attempted to undergo reorganization under bankruptcy Mervins ultimately succumbed to the ongoing Great Recession and announced that it would liquidate all its assets through Chapter 7 of Title 11 in the United States Code stating it is the best course of action to maximize value for all of the company's creditors, employees and other stakeholders. The bankruptcy called for the company to liquidate and close its remaining stores. The announcement came amidst an offer by fashion retailer Forever 21 to purchase 149 of the remaining Mervins stores for an undisclosed amount. The original negotiations failed and Mervins liquidated all 149 stores under the bankruptcy action. 
Several months later department store retailer Kohl's and Forever 21 prevailed in a joint bid at bankruptcy auction to take over the leases of 46 Mervyn's stores. Kohl's has assumed 31 stores while Forever 21 has assumed 15 stores. February 2009 The Morris family having bought back intellectual property rights to the company and announced plans to relaunch Mervyn's as an internet-based enterprise. The proposed revival never came to fruition meaning that Mervyn's had disappeared from America's retail landscape. A street named Mervyn's Drive still exists in Fullerton, California as a Mervyn's location was there prior to 2008. Hey, where are you? Mervyn's Super Sale is back. I'm here! I'm here. Just in time to save on men's Windridge shirts and kids' Oshkosh shortalls. I can't believe I almost missed it! Don't miss saving 60% on all fine jewelry, 14 karat gold, diamonds, and sterling silver. Well, I didn't exactly almost miss it, but I am only four hours early. Save throughout the store during Mervyn Super Sale starting Saturday, 8 a.m. Open, open, open. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and like.